You don't have to be needing a roommate, do you? So I saw this uh, roommate wanted poster on campus today. I think I might give him a call and see if he's still looking. Hey, that's great. Maybe you can stop crashing at my place all the time and I can actually get something done for a change. You know you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You know what? I think I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna step out and call him real quick. You're gonna call him? Maybe you should just text him and not be so weird. Yeah, you're probably right. That's why I got you, babe. Eh, for now. Hey, hey, Belle, looks like we got a bite. Hey, hey, Belle, remember when you said no one would even bother to look at my wanted posters? Well, remember that day you were wrong? Cause it's now. We got another taker. Belle, you really need to quit shouting where we eat. Huh. Now this guy's a class act. He's actually calling me. I respect that. Yeah, uh, I was wondering if you were still interested in a roommate? Yes, I am. Um, would you be able to grab a cup of Joe or something and we can get to know each other? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I get off work at 5 o'clock. So, is after that fine? Uh, would 7 work? We could meet at the VN? Yeah, I think I've heard of that. All right, we'll see you then. Seven at the end. You must be Armin. Brad, right, I assume? Or <laughs> at least I hope so. Yeah, that's me. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Armin? 
Carson, right? Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, can I get you guys anything tonight? I need another coffee, please. Okay, and you? Uh, I'll have a coffee, two creams. Okay, coming right up. Thank you. Hi, can I get you guys anything today? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Yeah, I'll have a uh, bagel and a coffee. Okay, coming right up. You sure you don't want one of these bagels? Oh, I'm just watching what I eat. Nice tie. I like the color. Thank you. Red's, uh, color of life, you know? Here you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So I saw on your poster that it was four fifty a month. Does that include utilities? Actually, it's four ninety a month, and unfortunately, utilities aren't included. But really, though, I am pretty conservative. It won't cost you an arm and a leg. All right, that's good to hear. That's a nice watch you got there. Thanks. Oh, uh, you said you got off work at five. Where do you work at? Oh, I got a job at the construction company. Um, actually, the one that's building the apartments over here. Oh, okay, that's real cool. What made you decide to call? Well, my fraternity just got kicked off campus, and I've pretty much just been bumming it with my girlfriend. I see. I can only imagine the lack of privacy you're feeling. <laughs> Noah, my mom's really been on my butt lately about getting stuff done around the house, always wanting me to do stuff. No, Mom, I'm busy. You're, you're going to have to bring it down to me. I'm doing stuff. Kids are out here these days playing video games for a living. Like, get up my case, Mom. Right. It's difficult when our parents be little our life choices. I'm sure you won't be missed. Honestly, man, I just moved to town. I've been staying down at the Discount Inn. I'd rather get something more permanent, especially something that doesn't smell like piss. And I'm pretty sure the people who are next to me are trying to make a feature-length porn. Oh. Which, do what you're doing. None of my business. But their shooting schedule of 3 a.m. is really making my sleeping schedule like shit. So it's from a fear, a fear of loneliness, that you decide to go out on this limb with me? Yeah, I guess you could say that. So, uh... If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your last roommate? Ironically, he joined some fraternity and decided to move in this semester. Really? What house? You know, it's too bad. I don't really remember the name of it. We never really talked much. Uh, you know, he had like a rare foot fungus or something like that, and was stuck in his room for two weeks. Then I came home one day and he was packing his stuff and said he had to live with his dad in Tennessee. And that was the last I saw of him, you know. You really want to know? Yeah, I think so. I killed him. I chopped him up into little bits, ground him fine, put him on a skillet, roast him at about 250 degrees, put a bottle of Chianti in there, mixed in with some red sauce. It was the best chili I ever had. Nah, he just transferred schools. Let's say you go check out my place now and you can decide if you want it or not. Okay. Hey, hey, this is Armin. Um, I'm calling to offer the room if you're still on board. Yeah, I meet you tonight. Just uh, send me the address and I'll let you know when I'm on my way. Awesome, awesome. I'll see you soon.